the job market is competitive and that means you are up against several other candidates for one particular job there are lesser number of positions always and there are more number of candidates now how do you solve this imbalance the solution is you have to become a magnet of this particular job market you have to be become so magnetic that the recruiters will get attracted to you automatically and your cv and they will make a call and hire you you no longer need to run behind companies for a job instead companies should approach you to give you a job well that is possible when you unlock your skill set when you unlock exclusively your molecular biology techniques skill set now at this juncture let me highlight one very important and basic fact that no matter which biotech lab or pharma lab you go definitely you will get exposed to molecular biology techniques now whether you are uh, trying to just deepen your understanding of molecular biology or cellular processes or protein synthesis or whether you are uh, up for a fight against a disease you want to do drug discovery and you want to understand the mechanism of a disease how exactly um, it happens and uh, the genetic disorders in particular or you want to develop a treatment to various uh, diseases molecular biology techniques will come handy now if that is the only point then i would have not made this video but the most important point is molecular biology techniques will make your cv magnetic it will attract it will attract more recruiters it will attract more companies towards you and you will be able to create an industry wide impact with your research and that is why i insist every student every subscriber of biotechnica to pursue molecular biology techniques at one go as soon as you begin your career now what are those techniques you ask i'll tell you so you have pcr polymerase chain, chain reaction you have electrophoresis you have cloning you have sequencing then you have uh, uh, western blotting uh, southern blotting fluorescence uh, microscopy you have then you have uh, the uh, chromatin immuno precipitation which is called as chip chip and then mass spectrometry these are the broad ones of course there is a big list which i can put them down in the description so these are the essential techniques but only knowing the theory is not enough you need to have a hands on you need to get into the wet lab you need to get the get your skin in the game you need to get your hands dirty then only you can build something out of your career right and only learning these techniques is not enough what is more important is of course getting the exposure from the top most scientists now which is the top most uh, research institution in this country i iisc that is indian institute of science now companies which has been incubated in iisc they have started labs and these labs are available now for you to do your internship and biotechnica has exclusively tied up with our lab partners to provide you all these internship if you are a part of arm scholarship now what happens when you get into the wet lab and of course you when you will pursue this internship which we are starting now uh, one important update that we have postponed this internship from 29th of may now to 15th of june because many students who are writing csir and all were having semester exam could not enroll so now you can enroll from 15th of june now what really we are going to train you is of course the experimental design also then we will teach you on data interpretation of what of whatever data you will get and then we will also train you on how to publish papers how to communicate your science effectively all of this covered in one particular internship 30 day summer internship which we are starting from 15th of june and the first 15 days will be theoretical internship where the theory will be first taught and evaluated and later on you will be in the lab and you will be pursuing this internship in a iisc incubated lab or a jnu incubated lab or shrm biotechnologies in kolkata so these are the three uh, places you can go delhi or bangalore or kolkata where we have the wet labs where you can do this internship but the first 15 days you can do it online the rest 15 days you have to just move to any of these locations now very interesting question which most of the students ask is sir if i do do this internship will i get a job the answer is yes and a no first you have to pursue this internship and once you have learned whatever you have learned you need to publish some papers once you have done that then when you will write all these keywords in your cv the recruiters will get attracted definitely and they will start calling you you don't need to run behind the recruiters they will start calling you okay you have a pcr experience please come and join the, join me this kind of uh behavior i've seen in the past also many companies are looking for this skill set so what are you waiting for go ahead for biotechnica's molecular biology techniques internship which is starting now from 15th of june and this is a 30 day summer internship where first 15 days is online and the next 15 days is a wet lab hands on 
internship. So all you have to do is apply in the link given below. You can enroll today or you can also become a part of the ARM scholarship to get the theory part absolutely free. So this is all about today's video. Thank you so much. And remember guys, do not delay. The seats are limited. Molecular biology internship is a hot cake right now. You must take it. Otherwise, don't complain later that you didn't get opportunities. Opportunities only favors the chance mind, a prepared mind, right? So chance and opportunities will only come to you when you are prepared. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.